Hello everyone, this is unofficial Android and I'm your friend Ravinder. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the NX NVRAM warning error 0x10 while connecting to Wi-Fi. But actually this error is whenever you try to whenever you switch on your Wi-Fi network it gets a new Wi-Fi MAC address in case if you are using a MAC filtering at your home or office then it might cause problem to connect and this error usually occur in combination with with the IMI number also as you can see there are no network right now and we'll see no sim status actually I have not installed any sim on also if we check the IMI number then it is shown as unknown for both the sims and second you can see the Wi-Fi MAC address if I'll switch it off and switch it on this address is going to change so in order to remove this problem what actually you need is the software of your device and the database file I'm sorry this is not the complete there are two files let me drag the other one also these are complete files first is apdb mtk6589 chipset only and second is second is bplgu info custom apps this is also for mt6589 uh, what actually here is mt is mtk chipset so we'll copy both of these and place in our database folder we'll replace the previous one second you require is the IEMI and SN writer version I'm using 1.5.3 you can use any of the latest also so this is the launcher of this application Second, in case if you have not installed the stock OS and you are facing this problem, then you need the stock uh, for installing the stock ROM. You need SP Flash Tool. I'm using version 3.132. So I have already installed the stock ROM on my Canvas 116. This Android version is 4.2.1. So now we are going to flash the serial number, IMI number and the Wi-Fi. You need to connect it with your PC. sorry open the cover remove the battery connect the back connect the USB cable now plug in your battery before that launch the IMI and SN writer we need to get the SN. SN number is mentioned over here V00761 and the other is IMI numbers 1 and 2 
so here you can see I have filled the serial number from the back of my phone I have found it on the back side you can also find the same serial number on your box of your phone and the MI number are also there the Wi-Fi number you can pick any one randomly which you have uh, just seen on your Wi-Fi settings advanced which I have shown you just back before so I have picked one uh, just check the read items also so that I can check whether it has write it the uh, serial numbers and all these serial number uh, all these MI numbers properly on my mobile uh, here we need to select smartphone instead of feature phone and UART instead of UART you need to select USB as you are as we are using USB cable now the other next step is to select the database files I'll go to desktop and here we have placed the database files we'll select the APDBA first and second time we'll select the BPLG now we'll hit we'll check if this works or not we need to hit start and please power off your phone that read the instruction you can work accordingly we'll put in the battery and click once time power button we'll see if it's going to start or not SN writer failed and that's over actually what happened why it fails because the process of selecting the SN serial number we have selected the wrong one so in order to select it once again we'll change the order now, right now. we'll select first BPLG second is APDB and we'll hit start and we'll plug in the USB cable if your phone is not getting on by its own yeah it will get on by its own and you can see pass 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 and skip and skip I think there is some error in Wi-Fi address so we'll write it again actually we need to remove this caps over from here uh, these scores no this is the right way to write a Wi-Fi address we'll remove the battery again you can keep the USB connected no matter what now we'll hit start again and plug in the USB cable uh, sorry battery and the phone will boot up automatically yep you need not to press the power button and step run and this is done everything done now we'll remove the USB cable remove the battery and plug it again now power on your device and let's see if it's if it's working or not it's booting up everything is right so the correct order I would like to repeat again the correct order is first the BPLG file second time you need to select the APDB file otherwise it will not write the IMI numbers and these Wi-Fi numbers now you can see
in the Wi-Fi. You are you will be seeing this NVRAM error still you are seeing. You need to click once and then forget it and refresh. You will not get that sign back. And next thing we need to confirm is the IMI numbers. We'll go again to settings and about menu and the status. Status we will see the IMI informations and you can see that IMIs are right are written or on our phone. So now everything is working. The authentication problem still exists as I am using a Mac filtering on my desktop Wi-Fi router TP link so this is the way wireless USB Mac filterings and the next one and this is I have added canvas HD will match the Mac address 000822B it's small okay a a e and f p is also in small caps Let's see if it is working now. Let me switch it off and switch it on again. Let's try forget one time. And I'll put the password. Yes, you can see now it is connected to my Wi Fi network. Now everything is working. You can check the IMI numbers with this code also star hash. 06 hash so the now is again to perfect condition thank you guys thank you for watching i hope you liked the video please do subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share i'm ravinder singh signing off this is an official android